Caterpillar 3208, valve lashing, rotate engine clockwise as facing. Tech manual is going to state counterclockwise rear facing. You can pull this bolt out and use that as a reference point. This is your timing bolt. Top dead center indicator. Remove. Mine was a fitting, an AN flare fitting that I removed. Take it off. Rotate engine. Tech manual will state. Rotate until top dead center mark comes in contact. But if you knew four strokes, that means you're going to have two rotations for that top set dead center mark. Now, we're just identifying true top dead center. You're going to rotate engine, insert pin. Remove valve train, cover, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift up, lift, 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 nothing, nothing, lift, 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 nothing, lift, 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 good pressure, lots of pressure. To check your valve lash. Hook up your dial indicator, verify it's at zero, push down as indicated, I see Between 16 and 17. Correct? Okay. Now, this is this side of the engine. Alright, so we're going to check our manual. Alright, so we're right here. Number two, exhaust. 0.25. Is that off? Yes. All right, we gotta make an adjustment. 0.25. To make adjustment, you know, loose. You're gonna use this adjustment nut to make your adjustments. You must first loosen this nut. It's a nine sixteenths nut. You put it on, loosen it. With the dial indicator on, you can now move it up and down, apply pressure. We're at two four now. Go back to our spec and see. Two five exhaust, right? And that's what I want today. After you get your two five in or fifteen, depending on if you're doing the intake, then you're gonna torque that lock nut to twenty four plus or minus five foot pounds while holding the adjustment screw right there. Intake. So yeah, you gotta do uh, both sides and um, both engines uh, yeah 
it's just time consuming but it's pretty simple just keep uh, watching I'll show you some other tricks uh, after you've done your first 50% of your valves so you're only going to be able to do half of the valves from top dead center actual um, so mark your harmonic balancer to your indicator and then rotate the engine 360 degrees until it reads once again from what the tech manual says top dead center but uh, then you can do the other half of your valves um, so after each valve you want to put a mark on them that will uh, ensure that you don't repeat the same valve just in case all right so these are some additional useful tools to have right so this right here hook this up to your harmonic balancer uh, it takes a half inch drive or put a socket on here that way you're not turning directly off your harmonic balancer bolt which could you know potentially strip it out or whatever yeah you don't want to do that so this tool will save you from uh, those issues all right this tool right here uh, we're going to use this. We use this during uh, torques. So to verify we have running torque. So if you saw the tech manual stated that you're going to run it to 24 plus or minus 5 foot pounds. Well what this is uh, indicating is the amount of running torque. Running torque is the amount of thread contact that's being engaged to create torque. Right. So every nut and screw thread that's being engaged is creating substantial amounts of torque but all different right so this is indicating uh, what degree of torque that you're getting you're being able to achieve your uh, final multiple torque right so just think about that into your equation that's what that's why it's going to give you a plus or minus five all right um, then you're going to utilize a crow's foot to do your actual torque because how can you hold the adjustment screw unless you have this so that's how you do it uh,